Well, the search continues for the person who shot and killed two teenage boys in Newport News. This happened last night on Rochester Court, and that's where we find our Casey Baylor this afternoon. Casey, what have you learned in this shooting? Bethany, we now know the ages of those two boys shot and killed overnight. Police say Newport News, police say two teens ages 15 and 17 died here on Rochester Court around nine last night. Shooting comes just one day after students returned back to the classroom for the new school year. I think it's bad and crazy, you know. Like I said, our young people don't value lives. The sound of gunshots scared several people living in Meadowview townhomes in Newport News. Multiple residents who did not want to be identified say they heard several shots Tuesday night. One woman says she immediately called 911. Around 9 p.m., police responded to Rochester Court near 48th Street. There they found two teenage boys ages 15 and 17 outside shot. Investigators pronounced one of them dead at the scene. Medics rushed the second teen to the the hospital where he later died. I was talking to a teacher just yesterday evening. She said school just started the first the first two days were worse than the whole year. Wednesday morning, investigators returned to the area to try and gather more information from residents. Neighbors tell me they are heartbroken and disappointed to learn gun violence claimed the lives of two teens. One woman who recently moved to this section of the city hopes the victims aren't the boys her grandchildren are friends with. Many people say they wonder when the violence will stop. My prayer goes out to them and for them because when it's going to end. And I reached out to Newport News Public Schools for comment. A school spokesperson says at this time she cannot confirm if the two teen boys are students within the, within the division. We're live here in Newport News. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. All right, Casey, thank you. Now, police haven't released any information on a suspect in this case. You're asked to call the crime line if you know anything. That number is one triple eight. Lock you up.